Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're making wireframe stuff in general. It's actually pretty easy. Um, let's jump right into it. So what you basically have to do is you can make any shape, any path, uh, any thing that can revolve on itself or you can also go with the extrusion way but it's kind of kind of weird anyways i'm gonna show you let's say we're gonna make a circle and we're gonna just have it set on a stroke we have our circle with our black stroke we're gonna go to effect 3d now we can go to revolve or we can go to extrude and bevel extrude and bevel it's gonna basically make it 3d but it's still gonna kind of look flat as you guys can see the only thing you have to do to make it into a wireframe is just under surface there's a drop down thing here and you're gonna go to wireframe and uh, there you go you can edit the extrusion depth you can make some cylinders you can make some crazy cool stuff and as you probably can tell um, by making some weird sh or cool shapes you can get some really cool effects like example, I'm going to delete this point. I'm going to have this half circle. I'll go to effect 3D. I'm going to go with revolve on this one. So what happens if you revolve this half uh, circle? It's going to make a sphere. So we have a little sphere here. And if we go to wireframe, we have a wireframe sphere. Now, real easy, you can rotate your sphere if you want to see it at a different angle uh, with this playing around with this little box. You can also choose a custom one, so off axis left or um, asymmetric left or whatever you prefer. You can um, also offset it, uh, change the angle of it, of the extrusion, extrusion or revolve. So this it's going to revolve it 360 degrees so you're going to get a whole sphere but if you only want half of it you can just go with 180 degrees and you only have half a sphere in wireframe which is pretty crazy um it's really cool now let's say let's make it like a quickly a really quick um glass This is our half half of a glass. That's the cool thing about it. When you're gonna use the revolve tool, is that you're gonna make half of the object because it, then it's gonna it's then gonna rotate it 360 degrees. So you only want half of it. Um, I know it's a little wonky. I'm, excuse me. I just did this like I don't even have a reference. I'm not a good drawer. Anyways, you're gonna go to effect 3D revolve. And you got your a cup of vino or I don't know what. You're just going to select wireframe and you have a wireframe cup, which is pre pretty, pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's basically all there is to it. Um, it's really cool. You got to play around with it, make some cool lettering. You can do this with typography. Um, and uh, you can choose between the extrude and bevel and revolve and you'll get that wireframe option with both of these methods so yeah um uh thank you so much for watching please feel free to subscribe if you like my content i post every single day both on sh youtube shorts where i post the short versions of these same tutorials that are all under a minute long and then I try to keep my videos, my longer videos on YouTube from like three to five minutes. So these are short as well. They're not boring. I get straight to the point. Um, anyways, also follow me on Instagram. I post daily on there too. And I post some really cool stuff. So definitely go check it out. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.